Okay, this is a tutorial on how to get faster at the last two centers of the 5x5. Five five. If you just watched the first video in this tutorial, it showed you how to get the other four centers faster. There were the two methods with the 2x2 two two box, and the, the versatile 2x2 two two box, and then the 3x1 bars. Now, you can use both of those in this, um, but I would recommend starting with the 3x1 block. What you want to do, not in this case, well, in this case, obviously, but um, you want to get a 3x1 block on the side in front of you. The side and top doesn't matter, because as soon as you solve this one, this one's solved. So you want a 3x1 here. If you don't have one, I'll start on this side just to give you an idea how to get, how to get one. I have a 2x1 and one edge here. All I have to do is an R prime U, an R prime F R, and I got a three by one. It's that simple. And if I didn't want to do that, if I just wanted to bring one down here, all I'd have to do is this, and I have a three by one there. So now what you want to do is is um, I'll call it the floating corner, but I'm not really sure what it does. What uh, what you would want, what you would think it was called, or whatever. But floating cor floating corner sounds pretty cool. What I'm going to do here first is just bring this bar down, um, but I'm going to pretend it's not here, because this makes it a little too easy, and I want a little harder solve. Okay, so what you can see here is I have a floating corner, along with this. Don't worry about the other five spots for now, even if they're all white, it doesn't... Well, it wouldn't matter if they're all white, but even if they're random colors, it doesn't matter. With this floating corner, you can easily connect it up with 2 by one bars, to make a 3x1 block before adding it in. So in this case, it's in the top or left. And this piece only needs a corner in the top left. If this was in the top right, then all this one needs is one in the top right. So all I need to do is bring this up to make a 3x1, bring it over into the layer I just brought up, and then bring it down again. It's that simple. Now, with the last bar, if there aren't any on the side in front of you, you want to bring the corner down. And to do that, you just get the 2 by one that's already there, if it's there, onto the right side, do an R, U2, R prime, and you have it there. Now, floating corner again. In this case, I'm lucky. When this one bring, comes up, it'll make a 3 by one There's a 3 by one bar, bring it over and down, and I've solved my last, my last two centers. Now, as you can see... Uh, starting with the one by one block and then using floating corners makes it very easy. In this case, I want to get the three by one. So I have two edges here. Just bring this down over and up, and I have one there. Now, even if you have it look, look, looking like this, you can still use either of them as floating corners. So this is very versatile as well. Because in this one, if you only had this bottom corner, it wouldn't do anything. But since you have this top one and it matches up with this, you can create the 3x1 and bring it in. Now in this case, this is where you're going to want to learn that little algorithm um, that I taught in my main video. First you want to get the two floating corners into here, and then bring it onto the right side. Now if you position this in the bottom, you can just do this quick algorithm. It may have more moves than you think are necessary, um, but it's really quick to perform. R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U, R prime. All that does is keep everything else the same while adding in that edge piece from here to here. It's that simple. And then, then there's one other uh, thing I'd like to show you. What you could also do, if that one doesn't work out for you or you don't want to learn an algorithm, is you can learn this nifty little trick that I taught in the 4x4 and to also taught in the 6x6 and 7x7 tutorials. So you get this piece down here, you position the two pieces you want to switch in the exact same spot. So as you can see, they're right here. Left center row, left center row. Now what I want to do is bring the side that the pieces are on down, like this, do an F. Then, since this is the piece I brought down first, I want to bring it down. So I do an M prime. Or an M, because it follows the L face. Now I want to do an F prime, and then bring the first row that I brought down up again, do an F, and then bring the second row I went down up again. And there I've solved my last two centers. Now this can be applied to any single 
centerpiece on any size of cube 4x4 or higher, except for the immediate centerpieces on the 5x5 and 7x7. So if I wanted to switch this corner and this corner, I make sure they're in the same row, and they are. In this case, I have to do an L, to because I'm switching this corner with this one. F, now my piece is right here, so I want to do an R prime. F prime, first row back up, F, right row back up. And now I've just switched two corners. Now I'm going to do that algorithm once more. You want to position the two pieces in the exact same spot in their relative centers. So this is in the top right corner, and this one's in the top right corner. Bring the layer that they're both on down. Do an F prime in this case, rather than an F. Because if you were to do an F, it would be on the same layer, and you don't want that. So now you position them in the same spot, like, and bring the layer down. Then you do an F prime. Basically, you just want to get the piece onto a different side of the cube. So I brought down these two la this layer. I want to bring it into one of these two. My piece is right here. So now I want to bring it down. Do an F. Bring the first side up again. F prime. Bring the second side up. And there is a faster way at solving the last two centers on the 5x5 cube. If you're interested, click the link in the description or in the annotation at the bottom here. And I will show you how to get faster at the edge pairing of the first eight and then the last four edge pairs on the 5x5.